So today I've been practicing the next section of It Ain't Necessarily So. This part is called Allegro and it's probably the most challenging part for me of the whole piece. I find it really difficult and really frustrating to practice and play. Um, so obviously we're going to have to have some practice techniques that make it easier for practicing or make it harder even. Like we when we're practicing obviously we're trying to make things easier in the long run but to get there we have to do some hard practice so what i do with this i kind of break it up because we have a lot of double stops in this section so i start off with the first bar we have just single notes and then the next bar we have separate no um double stop notes so i'll start by taking the top or the bottom note and just running through the whole section um, using the top notes of the double stops. Um, this section is a line and a bit really, so it's not that long at all, um, but it's a really tricky and intricate passage, which is why I've kind of made it such a short one, because the next section goes on and it's called the dance, and that's not as hard at all, so I can make that a longer section really. Um, but this bit is just, it's got harmonics, it's got double stops, and it's got quite fast notes and intricate rhythms. So making it a shorter section gives me more freedom to kind of, you know, like really hone in on that part. If I go, okay, I'm practicing this section, then I know I'm just looking at these really complicated notes and I don't have to worry about, you know, easier notes that aren't really going to, you know, affect my overall performance because I kind of know the gist of how to play them. Um, so as I was saying, taking double stops, taking the top note, taking the bottom note. So I'll run through the whole section doing um, the top note of the double stop say and I'll practice that about three times just doing that and I might take it a bit slower as well to begin with and try and gradually speed it up. If I don't feel like I've kind of achieved a good standard with this section um, in those three repetitive practice bits then I'll probably take it a few more times as well just to really make sure everything's like set in and there is a part in this section that I do often mess up on so I do kind of I will stop and I'll just take those two bars and kind of repeat them and practice them differently with different rhythms to what's on the page um, this is like the harmonic section and um, I have four semi quavers followed by two quavers and this section is basically the bottom notes of the semi of uh, the double stopping is just a D so like it doesn't change at all through those semi quavers and quavers and then the top part is coming down to D to C sharp to C natural to B natural to B flat to A which is like obviously if you know your chromatic scales that's a descending chromatic scale down which is often quite difficult especially at going at such a fast speed because you're having to get really really close with all your fingers um, all semitones apart and you're having to make sure they're absolutely in tune because if you're slightly out on those, then it can really sound off, especially as you've got this drone of D underneath, which is kind of keeping the intonation locked at the bottom. <coughs> so I find it hard because going at a fast speed and having to get semitones really close together, it gets often quite like confusing and I might forget that my finger dexterity sometimes so instead of sliding my third finger down I'll accidentally put my second finger down before it's supposed to go down um, which can really mess up my head and obviously doing getting your fingering wrong can mess up an entire section really um, if it's that intricate so taking that place with the harmonics before and trying to get them not so squeaky the harmonics I mean is really essential for this part because it is it's stand out like you can really hear it if it goes wrong so I do those two small bars quite repetitively a lot and with different rhythms at a slower tempo speeding it up to get it right um 
so I'll just play you this section now. Um, in my next practice session, I'll be going on to the dance, which the first two bars for me, again, they're quite easy. Um, but then it's the next two bars that I really, it's another really accidental, not non-diatonic section. Um, so honing in on that is really, really important because we have shifts, we have accidentals, fast rhythms, it's all going on. It's like almost, I find it quite a climatic part of the piece. So it just, it's suddenly so virtuosic um, compared to kind of the humorous vibe we've kind of got from this piece before. It's now like virtuoso violin, all out showing off everything um which is i when i chose this piece for my technical um one this part was one of the parts that was like oh my goodness and the section that i'm practicing today this kind of bit is like show off do your best violin so i'll play you this part and then i'll say bye for now today guys thanks <laughs>